Now let's move towards the second lecture of the basic concepts. And the second lecture of the basic concepts is about what is chemistry. The first lecture was about what is science and now the second lecture is about what is chemistry. Last time we discussed that chemistry is basically the study of matter. So, chemistry is the study of matter. Now what kind of study it is and what features of the matters we discuss. We discuss about the structure and composition. The first feature of the matter that we discuss in the chemistry is the structure and composition of matter. Now structure and composition are almost very similar to each other. We know that every matter consists of certain particles. The proportion of those particles in any matter that is called as its composition and the arrangement of the particles in that matter that is called as its structure. Just like water, so composition of water is the two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen and structure of matter is the arrangement of the molecules in the water. The second aspect that we discuss is the properties of matter. Now the properties of matter are of two types. One of them is physical properties and the second one are chemical properties. We always see in the chemistry that physical and chemical properties of a substance are mentioned. If you ask the students what are physical properties, they say that color, smell, texture, hardness, density, melting point, boiling point, these are all the physical properties. No doubt these are all the physical properties, but these are the examples of the physical properties. What is the definition of the physical properties? Physical properties are those properties which are discussed without change in composition of matter. So physical properties are the basically those properties. When we discuss these properties, we study these properties, there is no change in the composition of matter. For example, boiling point. If we measure the boiling point of water, then water before measurement of the boiling point is H2O. When we find that the boiling point of the water is 100, then even after measurement of the boiling point, it is again H2, no change in composition. So these are the physical properties. I will write down some examples of the physical properties like melting point and boiling point, smell, color, solubility. density 
etc. These are all the examples of the physical properties. Now what's about the chemical properties? Chemical properties are those properties when we study them change in composition of matter. These are the properties when we discuss them the composition of the matter is changed and a new substance is formed. For example Combustion of methane. When we combust the methane, the new substance like CO2 and water are formed, and the methane is CH4. But the new substance which are formed, as far as the composition is concerned, they are totally different. So that change is called as the chemical change. All the reactions that we study of any substance, these are included in the chemical properties and the physical properties are melting point, boiling point and so on. So this was the second aspect of the matter that we discuss in the chemistry after structure and composition properties. Now the third one changes in matter how the matter changes. Now the changes in matter, they are again or are of two types. One change is the physical change and the other change is the chemical change. Now what is the physical change? Physical change is actually the change in one or two properties of the matter, but the composition will not change. For example, conversion of water into ice. When we change water into ice, the formula of water is H2, the formula of ice is H2 one or two properties are changed like water is in liquid state ice is in solid form water can flow ice cannot flow so these are one or two properties which are changed but the overall composition that is constant that is H2O now chemical changes are those changes in which a substance is changed into an entirely new substance for example burning of wood that is a very simple example you take wood and you burn it the new substance which is formed that is totally different the ash is formed and the heat energy is released but the composition has totally changed so such kind of change is called as the chemical change structure and composition properties of matter changes in matter and the last feature that we discuss is the laws and principles that govern these things what are those laws and what are those principles according to which the change in the matter takes place <clears throat> there are two basic laws in the chemistry that I discussed. One is the law of con 
कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मैस आर्यू में आल्सो से द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मैटर एंड द सेकंड इज द लॉ ऑफ डेफिनेट proportions sometimes this is called as law of definite proportion and sometimes instead of of word definite constant is used mean there are two names it may be called as law of definite proportion and it may also be called as the law of constant proportions now let us have a slight discussion of these two laws what is law of conservation